Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to talk about switch statements, and those are very similar to if statements, and we're going to see how we can actually use them in an example right now. So say we wanted to present a menu of some type to the user and ask him to enter a certain value, okay? And then based on what he enters, we want to do some kind of event, okay? So this is how we do it. Let's say int and we're declaring a variable as an integer, we want to call it int number, okay? And then see out, this is what we're going to print to the user. Um, choose one for Mac and two for PC. Now people are going to be like, why didn't you capitalize the M? There you go. Okay. Now, and then of course we got to see in that number, okay? So we got the number from the user. Now, instead of using if statements for this and having and saying if number equals one, you know, then do, you know, do whatever we want to do else if number equals two, do whatever we want to do. No, we're going to use a switch statement and that this is how you do it. Switch, type the word switch. Okay, and in these parentheses, you put the actual parameter, the number, okay, the expression, number, okay. Now, in a switch statement, we have different cases. This is the body of the switch statement, okay. Okay, just like the body of, you know, the if, else, if, else statement, right. And we have different cases. Case one, for instance, in this, in this situation, we have two cases, one and two, okay? So case one, and we put a colon. This is the syntax, okay? Don't ask me why we put a colon and not a semicolon. This is how it is. I mean, I've always wondered why we type climb with a B in the end in the English language, and, you know, I always have a problem with that. But, hey, that's how they do it, right? So we just got to go with the rules. So C++... Put, says put a colon, you put a colon. Okay, case one, uh, what we want to do is see out, um, I don't know, if they put one for Mac, let's say Apple, okay, and break after that. And then case two, colon, see out, and let's put Microsoft, okay and then break, and I'll tell you what break does in a moment. This is just syntax, okay? So this is the case, the first case. If the user enters a one, switch statement, the switch statement would match number with one, and see if number equals one, then this would be applied, or this statement would be executed. Everything underneath case one would be executed until we reach a break, okay, which is why we put the break right here, or we reach the end of the switch statement, okay? The break just terminates the switch statement, you know, at an early stage, okay? Instead of waiting until we do case two and see what's here, we just get out of the um, switch statement right here. So as soon as we have a break, we exit the switch statement, okay? Okay, so basically, let's see what happens when we have case one and case two, and we can add a default case default it's just like the else statement so imagine this is an if if one if number equals one then do this else if number equals two then do this now else anything else this is the default statement default of course we still have to put the call in right here default um see out let's say you didn't pick one of them sorry okay and we, we don't need a break here because we're already exiting the uh, switch statement, right? So we're already leaving. We're done. There's nothing here. We're, we're getting out and we're going to do the rest of the code. So the compiler is going to go on anyways. We don't need to terminate it early. Okay. So let's see what happens when we debug this. Start without debugging. Yes. Okay. So it's asking, choose one for Mac and two for PC. Did I say two for PC? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, okay, let's pick two. Okay, Microsoft. 
right? Okay, which is what we want. Let's debug, start without debugging, and choose one, okay? Apple, that's what we want as well, right? And if we wanted to put three or four, let's sorry, four, you didn't pick one of them, sorry, which is wonderful, okay? That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Now, if we had taken out the break right here, okay, what would happen is the computer will compare number to case one, okay? And if indeed number was one, so if the user entered one, it'll get into case one, and it'll print Apple, and then keep on going. There is no break, so it's going to keep on going and executing every single statement, right? It's, it's just going to ignore this case two thing, right? So it's going to keep going and print Microsoft, and then keep going with, then it hits a break. So if we enter one, it's going to print out Apple and Microsoft, okay? Even though that Microsoft, even though Microsoft is only for case two, it's still printed out if we don't have a break here, okay? So if we, if we have, here, let's try it out. Yes, debug it, please, and right here, one. Enter, Apple, Microsoft, okay? Of course, there's no space because of format. We didn't have an end line. We didn't have spaces. You know that, right? So, um, Apple and Microsoft. Now, if we put a 2, it's just going to print out Microsoft, right? Microsoft. And that's because it never goes into case number 1 because this part is not activated at all because it's not 1. It compares number to 1 and it does not get a positive, like it, it does not, it, it, number is not one, okay? So basically, it's never gonna go into case number one, it's never gonna apply that, it's, it's just gonna jump to number two right away, and it's gonna do this, and because there's a break here, it's never gonna go to this and do this part, okay? So that's basically what the switch statement does. Don't really dwell on you know, the switch statement, it's not really that important. But, um, you know, do know that the break statement always breaks out of anything and gets you out of it earlier than you're supposed to. And that's why we have to put the break here. Because in this case, we want it to break out of it. In other cases, we won't. Like, if you wanted to only, if you wanted to print Apple, Microsoft, and you didn't pick one of them, sorry, whenever you pick the number one, then you'd, you'd take the breaks out, right? But, yeah. In this case, we wanted to have the breaks. Um, that's pretty much what I have for today. Uh, watch my next videos, and we'll talk about something else. I mean, for this one, don't really think about it that much. Maybe change the code a little bit here and here, and, you know, see what happens. Okay, take care. Bye.